Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 crashing on Windows. Method 1. Update graphics drivers, Windows OS and Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. Outdated or incompatible, graphics drivers and Windows OS, can cause instability in games. NVIDIA and AMD released graphics drivers that are designed to optimize Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 even further, so make sure you install them. To update Windows OS, we need go to Settings. Select Windows Update then select Check for Updates. To update graphics driver, please visit NVIDIA or AMD official website, depending on the type of graphics card you are using. Here I'm using NVIDIA graphics card, so I will visit NVIDIA homepage, then download and install NVIDIA app. After that, open NVIDIA app, then go to Drivers sections. Over here, between Game Ready Driver and Studio Driver, I recommend you choose Game Ready Driver. Select Ready Driver then select Download. When download is complete, then select Install. Over here, I recommend you choose Custom Installation. Over here, I just want to install Graphics Driver, so I will uncheck the other two components. Next, I recommend you choose Clean Installation. Now, select Continue and follow the instructions on the screen. To update Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable, please visit this page. After that scroll down to Visual Studio 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2022. Please. Download and install both x86 and x64 architecture. Once done, try Launch Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 and see if the problem is gone. Method 2. Verify integrity of game files. Corrupted or missing game files can lead to crashes. Verifying the integrity of the game files can help identify and replace problematic files. Open Steam and go to your library. Right-click on Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 and pick Properties. Go to Installed Files and click Verify Integrity of Game Files. Allow the process to complete and then start the game. Method 3. Disable Overlays on Steam, Discord, etc. Open your Steam client. Go to your game library and right-click on Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Select Properties. Disable the Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game option location in general settings. If you're using Discord app while playing games, please open Discord and click on the gear icon next to your username. Scroll down to the Activity Settings section and click on Game Overlay. Toggle off the switch next to enable in-game overlay. Restart Discord to ensure the changes take effect. Please do same thing on NVIDIA app, AMD software and similar applications. Method 4. Run the game with admin permission. Right-click on the game's icon on the desktop and from the drop-down menu, choose the Properties option. On the Properties window, switch to the Compatibility tab. There, tick the Run this program as an administrator option and select OK. Once you have done that, go ahead and try launching the game again to see if the problem still occurs. Method 5. Disable XMP. XMP profiles can improve frame rates per second. FPS, in games by overclocking RAM, which allows for faster data transfer rates and memory bandwidth. But at the same time it also makes your system unstable, and this is also one of the causes of game crashes and blue screen of death errors. So, 
Try Disable XMP. Method 6. Disable Overclocking. If you are using MSI Afterburner and Rivatune, MSI Afterburner OC, Razor Cortex, Game Booster and similar overclocking software, then I recommend try turn off them. Because they can make software conflicts leading to games crashed. This problem is not just with KCD2, it happens in a bunch of games and other softwares. Method 7. Update BIOS. An outdated BIOS may limit PC performance, lower PC stability, debilitate overclock settings, and remain incompatible with certain devices. Updating your BIOS can improve your computer's performance, stability, and compatibility with new hardware or software. Please visit your motherboard manufacturer's website for details on how to update the BIOS. That's it guys, hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.